And the winner is... And the winner is... And the winner is... Happy New Year, fellow Leggers! Happy New Year! Congratulations, you've made it to 2020, fellow mm -hmm. Leggers! And I suppose, what a way to start off a year by looking back... <laughs> at 2019! At the previous year! Because... It is the 2019 Breaker Leggers Award Ceremony Woo! held in 2020! Yeah. Pour yourself a drink, guys, Alun. I think it's going to be quite a long one. Because in 2019, would it surprise you to know that we saw... I've got my stats here. Okay. 101 professional productions. Yeah. Across 12 different towns or cities in the UK. It's impressive. Including London. Okay. And we've managed to split those down into 17 different categories, celebrating the best performance and creative elements of all the theatre we saw in 2019. So stick around to hear all of our nominees, the short lists, and the winners. <laughs> Leggers, I am so excited that you have joined us amongst the celebrities. We're so excited. Do you mean the celebrities on the posters? We've yes, got Neil that's Patrick what Harris, for, we've, signed. Got, we've got, you know, what, Audra seven McDonald's. time a, a Tony Award winning actress, Audra yep. McDonald. Signed. Yep, we've got Jonathan <laughs> Groff and Leah Michelle's legs. The, the entire I mean, what cast more do you of, want? Um, Spring Awakening we there. We do, the indeed. Original cast of, anyway, we're from, we're sorry, <laughs> the celebrities <laughs> are lining up behind us, but the screen is ours. Don't forget, fellow leggers, that we have reviews on YouTube for every single show that has a nomination. Yeah, so if you want to learn more about that show, and about those cast yes. members and creatives, then just check out our back catalogue. There's yes. days of content just <laughs> waiting for you. So over if you're on poorly, day off sick, yeah. hangover, binge us. Hey, binge. You know what we should do? A Breaker Leggers <laughs> box set. Can Breaker you imagine? Box set. If we just had a whole box set and just people just, we just have video after video after video. You know, like it says, yes. do you want to watch one more? People could just sit there for an entire day. That's when you know you've made it, when we're being illegally downloaded. <laughs> that just sounds so I, wrong. I feel, for like, the right reasons. I feel like I've been illegally uploaded in the past. <laughs> But I don't know if I've been illegally downloaded. <laughs> Should we move on? Let's move on! What are our award winners going to be winning? Well, we are going to be sending out to all of our winners a lovely Ooh. little um, Break a Leggers Award 2019 celebrating their achievement. Um, do you know what? To cut down on costs, we might just drop these at a few <laughs> stage doors if shows are still running. But look, there's a natural award, this is fellow Leggers. Can this you is believe the, it? Is it Said no expense. I, I wonder what's going to end up with them, what these are going to end up doing in like five years time I'm holding a door <laughs> open I should think if they're still around anyway yeah. no they're gonna be prized on the, on the shelves along with the Olivier sure. Awards yeah right next, awards. To, right next to that the what's Baptist. on stage award should we get the cracking award. let's get cracking we've got a lot to get through I still don't know whether to hold it here or not make your mind up we're on don't stick it down there jeez Right, what good is a fantastic score without some fantastic musical direction? We've got three of the best right here in this category, and the category is Best Musical Direction! Hey, hey. How about that? Mark Dickman for Blues in the Night over at the Kiln Theatre. A joy to watch! Yeah, full it, of energy, man. He was on stage man. and just grabbed the eye. Yep, yeah. and also a lot of interaction with the cast. Yes, Absolutely. good stuff. Engaging um, stuff. Phil Sherman for And Juliet, the Manchester Opera House and Shaftesbury Theatre. It's just beautifully done. I mean, done. I've never the heard sound that music great. like that before, yep. ever. And also George Dyer for West Side Story. Was that is that your George impression? <laughs> I'm just one of the the Curve Lester. He, again, is brilliant as a conductor to watch yep. on that score, Leonard Bernstein score. Yep. It's just amazing. You're just captivated. I've got to move on, right? You've got to talk about the winner. You need to get it out. I've got to get out. Oh, here we go. And the winner is George Dyer for West Side Story at the Curve Theatre. He is incredible. He is as much of a performer as any single one of those characters on stage. A joy to watch. And just that, again, that score is not easy work and it sounded fantastic. The cast sounded fantastic. Yes, well done, George. Best choreography. Um, uh, before you go any further, right, I think it'd be fun if you did a signature move 
for each of these nominations. So, so a move from, <laughs> a, from the, the show that summarises the show. Come okay. on, don't put all that training to waste. I have to say it and do it. Yeah, you've got to say it and Okay, do you it. hold this then. Shall I hold the okay. card? I'll hold Fabian the card. Fabian Aloise for Evita at Regent's Park. I've got to be classic. careful not to block off. It's to, a classic. For Evita. At Regent's Park, yes. uh, Open Air Theatre, really good mm. stuff. Um, Ashley, not I'm getting sweaty here. <laughs> Ashley Nottingham for Singing in the Rain at the Mill Theatre in what Sonning. You did there. Um, the Mill at Sonning features quite heavily this production. Um, Javier de Frutos for Cabaret. Are you going um, for the tits? Uh, yes. Wow, <laughs> bold. UK mm. tour, brilliant. Uh, also, Nick Winston for Cats. Yeah. Uh, at Kilworth House. Although none of them actually do that. Might have been, you know. Oh, I don't think any of them do, do that, do they? No, I don't know. You tell us. Is that one of the. This is Ty Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tyrannosaurus the musical. Rex, the <laughs> Jurassic Park, the musical. Jurassic Park, the musical. Right, anyway. You saw it here. We digress. And the winner is. It's Baby and Aloise for Evita at the Regent Open Air Theatre. Also going to the Barbican. Yes, going into the Barbican, so you're going to get a chance to see it again. Yes. Um, really modern, updated production. Amazing stylized movements. Again, I would say the best thing about that production for me was the movement. So, worthy winner in Fabian. Well done. Best Supporting Actress in a Play. Uh, first up for this short list, we have Francesca Mills in The American Clock at the Old Vic in London, which again, we caught very early on in the year. Mm -hmm. uh, Sophie Stanton in The Taming of the Shrew. Boy, has there been a lot of talent at the RSC in Stratford-upon-Avon. Uh, we also have another Sophie, but Sophie Thompson in Present Laughter at the Old Vic London. And finally, Balvinda Sopal in My Beautiful Laundrette uh, at the Curve Theatre, Leicester, and also on a bit of a tour. Absolutely. And, and the winner is... The winner and is... The winner is... Francesca Mills, the American Clark. She played Daisy, and my God, is she captivating. And talking about supporting actress, like it's an actress that is not lead, but you're just captivated by everything they do, and she fit this perfectly. She, she did. She was great. And she's going on to do great things at the moment. I would say a real up-and-comer, but we're so thrilled to be able to give her a Ball Award for 2019. One to watch. Do I hold it here? Do I hold it there? Where I'll hold, I hold it there. It? I just don't know. What do I do? Best supporting actor in a musical. This is an important Ooh. one. Calm down, dear. Um, like Lucas Rush as Lonnie in Rock of Ages he was on a UK tour. I, there's a about, guy there's so hilarious. many roles I want him to play. Yes. That's, a, that's another conversation. Jack Loxton in Dear Evan Hansen. Great. Tyrone Huntley in The View Upstairs at the Soho Theatre. Fantastic vocals and great actor. Yeah, a Broadway legend, Andy Mientus for The View Upstairs at the Soho Theatre. And good things come in threes, right, guys? Because John Partridge for The View Upstairs at the Soho Theatre rounds off this category. And the winner is... Jack Loxton for Dear Evan Hansen playing Jared. He is incredible. Like, for me, he's the best thing about that show by far. The whole show is great, but again, this is for another discussion. Um, but absolutely, he owns that part. It's almost as if the part is written for him. Very well deserved. Again, I don't think this is the only award he's going to be getting. No, stick around, guys. I like to think of us as great predictors. Another creative category, fellow leggers. This is best creative design. Now, this could be set, costume, project, project. I can't speak <laughs> and we've got to say we've put all of these into one category i know it feels bad and we'll see how yeah. the leg awards do in 2020 it feels bad to put lighting sound projection and creative elements in one but we just think it's really important that they're recognized in the first place yeah because can i say these are usually the awards that for the um, Olivier Awards, they're put in that little segment in yeah, the middle when it cuts get... to the break. In fact, you know what? I and think we like... should take our time on this one to give them <laughs> yes. all that time back that they don't Let's get at the Olivier. Let's tell you how well you do lighting, yep. sound, the unsung heroes, yep. the design, we the projection. We always have an eye out for that and it can make or break an entire production. Yes. The power that these guys have is so underestimated and we are so proud to be able to celebrate them. You get a bow down. A uh, bow down. I Here we go. Bow oh, down to oh, have to go. Oh. Okay, that'll do. But you recognised. Yes. No shortcuts here. Right. 
Diego Pitarch for Best Designer of Night of the Living Dead Live at the Pleasance Theatre. That was an experience. Oh my God, was that an experience. Great set design though. Robert Jones, Best Designer for Sweet Charity at the Don Mar Warehouse. I loved that, and, that in, Again, space. in a way that we'd never seen it done before. Stylistic. Sweet Charity set in a certain time and space. Yes. Yet this broke the mould. Metallic and yeah. neon, it was brilliant. Peter Negrini, best projection for Dear Evan Hansen at the Noel Coward the, um, London. That show is all about the projection. It is. Really. Sit somewhere you can see it, is what <laughs> I would say, to get the most from it. And Peter Rice, he's not last, I've just gone for an and. Oh, okay. <laughs> for best sound design at Jesus Hot the A Train at, at the, the Young, Young Vic. Vic. Yes. And Lee Curran for best lighting design at the Barbican Theatre for Jesus Christ. Superstar, which I imagine, um, no, uh, uh, which transferred from the Regent's Park Open Air Theatre, and the winner is <gasps> Peter Rice for Jesus Hop the A Train Best sound, design. sound Design. I've got to say that's one thing I do remember about that production. It was like this percussion drum kit, and every time it kicked in, the whole audience jumped out of their skin. Yep. It moved the piece so well and was in such. Um, such tuning yep. to the actual dynamic of the piece. And that's, in tune with the dynamic of the that's piece. That's what you meant. That's now, what I want to I say. I think what, what it is with that production is when you get sound right, you, you have an extra sensory experience. Extra sensory? It, yeah, it sort of connects in a way that sometimes productions just don't because not only are you seeing it, but you're hearing it. And in that case with that bass, you can feel you're feeling it. feeling it and it's all about the feeling. So well yeah. done, you unsung heroes of creatives. Yeah, well done, an Peter amazing Rice. achievement. Peter, well done. A new category, fellow leggers. I don't think this is like seen in any other award ceremony. I mean, pr comment down below if it is, <laughs> and I'm sure there is someone out there that recognises this. But but do you know what? We recognise it. We recognise it because it makes a difference. Should we tell you what it is? Yeah. It's best front of house staff. Best front of house staff. Now, I'm how many experience. places have you received service? Not just in a theatre, but anywhere. And it's really tainted your opinion of something. You can yes. have the best meal out. And if it's served by a miserable Mary, what are you going to remember when you get home? You're going to remember. Miserable Mary. You're going to remember a miserable Mary. Yeah. You're, you're not going to remember right. the food. And it's the same with front of house. If it's great, it can make the difference. Because theatre going isn't a passive experience it's a full experience it's from the moment experience. you walk in the door absolutely so <laughs> we've got three um nominees short yeah. on the shortlist for this first up is the almeida theater yeah. in uh, north london yeah, a tiny fantastic little tiny theater thing. in islington we absolutely. see absolutely everything there in spite of ourselves so <laughs> you'll have to see our reviews of the almeida yeah, theater catch, catch to see there. what we mean there uh, but lovely front of house staff mm -hmm. the old vic theater the massive old refurbishment vic. in yep. 2019 through most of the year without any toilets indoors. No front of house either. Yeah, just, just a big hole in the ground. around the side. So, and yeah, they orchestrated that. They had candy. They had sweets and chocolates To take the edge off for you. Because you were peeing in a portal. And uh, finally, the Turbine Theatre as well. A lovely intimate venue. Really late in the year, we went to the Turbine yes. for the first time. We didn't even do a review there. Catch us over on Instagram That's for things like true. that. But we had a great time at the It turbine. was an evening with um, Tyrone, Tyrone Huntley. Huntley. And we were just blown away by the welcoming that, atmosphere and stuff. That was it, it was the atmosphere. I felt like I was at home. But we can only have one winner. And the winner is... Are you at home? I can't get it out. <laughs> No, the first time. <laughs> anyway, sorry. It's the old big. The old big wins. Now, bit of Lovely controversy bit. here because oh. they have gone gender neutral with their toilets, um, and to to some people's delight, and to others not so much so. But what has got to be said is the way they handled that entire massive regeneration and refurbishment of their front of house in a building which is hundreds of years old is to be completely applauded. It went without Absolutely. a hitch, as far as we know. Um, and we champion diversity, so well done with the strides they're making yeah. towards that. We'll put ourselves out there to think that we think gender neutral is moving in the right direction. <gasps> Best supporting actress in a musical, 
There's a bit of a surprise on this card. A supporting actress in a musical. A bit of a surprise. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. For me, Magdalena Alberto as Gloria in On Your Feet, which we saw at the Coliseum, but yeah. went on a UK tour as well. What she can't do with her legs is just. I've got to think for just, legs. I've got to think for legs it's because not her, it's Bonnie Langford. Next up on the list is Bonnie, Bonnie Langford. <laughs> Bonnie Langford as was in Nine to Five at the Savoy. You want to get onto our short list? Get yeah. your leg up by your ear. <laughs> You're <laughs> they just kicking the kick the house <laughs> down. But yeah, get your leg up over your uh, ear. <laughs> I'm thinking about cats now. Right, you know okay. Judy Dench's leg in cats. I can't stop thinking about it. We're just at one point she just randomly like lifts her leg directly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a leg. <laughs> you get it. Give away our secrets. Give away that I'm not wearing. Noticed. Maybe no one. Knows. I'm like a news reader. You know how they don't wear any trousers. Stop it. Have another drink. Okay. Right. Next up, and this is where the surprises come. Carly Mercedes Dyer as Anita in West Side Story at the Curve. Well, that's no surprise because she was fantastic but as Anita. But what is the surprise? Is next up is Carly Mercedes Dyer. For the view upstairs. Oh, we saw her twice the last year. Her she was fantastic. Twice. She's on here twice. Okay. And also, Victoria Hamilton Barrett, view upstairs at the Soho Theatre. Ooh, okay. The winner is. Carly Mercedes Dyer! Carly Mercedes for Dyer! For both performances. Yeah, it doesn't matter which If you one. appear twice in our list, it seems as if you're in for a sure running. She is a sensation. Like, I want to see her do everything. I think her performance in The View Upstairs was so understated. Yeah. And then as Anita, she's full out. I feel lucky that we've seen her in such a diverse range of um, shows, of roles. Yeah. Of roles last year. So well done, Carly. She's incredible. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> I'm just going to cut that in at some point, Probably. just do a random... Do you want this to be like that? Just a random cut? We're not going to get invited to do the Olivier's, are we? If you're burping, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Watch this face. This is our Olivier audition tape. Is that? Is that? Well, I'm, do you know what? Return to sender. It ain't happening. Right. Is that going down well? Is it, love? Mm -hmm. Bottoms up. Mm -hmm. Let me. Do you know you've got to stay professional. Mm -hmm. We're on camera. Best director. I often find direction sort of goes a little bit. You don't realise the hard work that goes into production when you see it. Yes, when a production is done well. You just see the actors and you're like, that actor is great, that actor yeah. is great. And we so forget the work that's been put in to orchestrate the whole thing, the yeah. sound, the lighting. And all those creative spacing, ideas, right? those, those the decisions that have been made. All comes from the director, yeah. often overlooked. Yeah, often Is that what overlooked. we're talking about then? Yeah, <laughs> um, but not today, because we have got five nominations for Best Director. First up, Robert Ike for the Doctor at the Almeida Theatre, soon okay. to be also Duke of York's. We've got Luke Shepherd for And Juliet at the Manchester Opera, Opera House and Shaftesbury Theatre. Mm -hmm. Joseph Pitcher singing in the rain. I mean, tiny stage, big ideas. At the mill at Sonning. That's it. Bill Buckhurst for Assassins at the Watermill Theatre and Nottingham Playhouse. What a dynamic piece that is, mm. and that was. Yes. Nicole Charles for Amelia at the Globe Theatre and Vaudeville London. And the winner is... Robert I for the Doctor at the Almeida and soon going back into the West End as well. Yep. Boy, is that a good piece. We've enjoyed so much of his theatre. Yep. So much of his stuff has been recognised and he continues to be a pioneer in the world of director. And he's about to step down as associate at the Almeida. This is his swan song and what a thing to go out on. I'm sad. I'm sad. That's all I'm saying. Have another drink. Please. I'm going to have another have drink. Another I'm drink. Having a... Best supporting actor in our play is next. Uh, first up, we have Colin Morgan in All My Sons at the Old Vic Theatre. Now, he was up against two megastars, and yeah. boy, did he hold his Bill own. Bill Pullman and Sally Field. Yeah, and he was As fantastic. Some people you just wouldn't want to act against. It's sort of like going out with your ugly best friend to make you look better. <laughs> but the opposite of that. And he showed them up like he was yeah. great. Um, Next up, we have Arinze Kenne in Death of a Salesman at the Young Vic in London. He, he was Biff. He was Biff. He was brilliant. He 
didn't transfer to yeah. the Piccadilly. What a shame. So, uh, I'm really sorry if Only you saw him at saw the, that. Um... You, me, <laughs> and some annoying woman sat next to me who wouldn't get off her phone the whole oh, time. Oh, that was If you've that... seen our now legendary rant video about theatre etiquette, that was the reason. Shaking the maraca, wasn't it? Shaking the maraca. Almost ruined that for me. Anyway, let's change the subject. Oh. Um, Stuart Thompson for A Taste of Honey uh, on the UK tour and also in the West End that went to the Trafalgar Studios. Yeah, beautifully played Jeffrey in that production. You had a soft spot I for him. I do have Admit a soft spot it. for him. Admit it. He was very good though. No bias here though. And the winner is... A Renze Penny in the role of Biff in Death of a Salesman at the Young Vic and not transferring to the Piccadilly. Now I've got to say, this is another one, Renze Kenny is going to go on to big things. I reckon we're going to, we you said it, we're going to lose him it. to Hollywood, aren't we're we? We're going to lose him to Hollywood, we're going to lose him to TV because yeah. he's so good. Seeing him from Misty, seeing him recognised from that and then seeing a completely different take, a different stance, like I will go and see what he does next if he ever does stage work again. Do you know what's sickening about him? His body. He's gorgeous. Right? <laughs> Are you going to go with his body? Yeah, he's his gorgeous. body is amazing. He's talented. Yes. And very he's, talented. he's great at everything. He can write, he can sing, <laughs> he can do absolutely everything. <laughs> do you know some people just make you feel worthless? But in a great way. Well, he makes me want to be, he makes me want to work harder. He, wants, he, he makes, makes me want to be hard. better. <laughs> what? What? Can I get another ooh? I thought you were going to whoop whoop. Can I get a whoop whoop? Whoop, whoop? Let's doing? go with a whoop whoop. Okay, can okay. I get a whoop whoop? When I get to the end of this, though, we're going to announce the uh, shortlist for the best actress oh. in the play. That didn't work, did it? No, it didn't totally work. Okay, we're going to announce the uh, shortlist for the best actress in the play. Whoop whoop. There we go. Uh, we have got Rosalind Elazar as Angela in The Starry Messenger at the Wyndhams in London. We thought she was fantastic. Yeah. Um, I, we think she's going to go on to some great stuff. She already is. She's just been cast in something as a lead. I can't remember what. Look out for something. Yeah. <laughs> Something's something. coming up. I've seen but it. It's that There's name. a lot of news flying around. Uh, uh, Monica Dolan as Tony in the... Uh, Inappropriate at the in, Donmar. In inappropriate. In appropriate, not inappropriate. <laughs> and, and that was brilliant. Again, we caught that in previews, yeah. but it was fantastic yeah. right from the off. Because a preview shouldn't be a test, right? It shouldn't be. A, it should. You should be pretty much there by then, I think. Okay, let's move on from this soapbox. Again, look at one of our past. Anybody Me? have a map? Soapbox. <laughs> Juliet Stevenson as Ruth in The Doctor and the Almeida Theatre, as we've said, soon to be transferring into the West yeah, End. Yeah, I mean, she's had such an illustrious career. We love Juliet Stevenson. Yeah, she's, she's fantastic. She's a legend. Captivating. Claire Foy as W in Lungs at the Old Vic in London. Now, since then, I've seen Claire Foy in The Crown on Netflix, and she is brilliant. She's completely different to W in Lungs. But so, TV like, my respect is a for her. Completely different kettle of fish. But she's got it. She plays the character. Anyway, is there anything go on? she can't do? Well, that's what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. And so, and finally, Jodie Prenger as Helen in A Taste of Honey UK tour, and also in London at Trafalgar Studios. Again, brilliant performance. We yep. loved her in Abigail's Party. Okay. And in this, she was brilliant. It's because she's known for musical theatre. But can she act anyone else out the door? She I think possibly she can. She's a fantastic actress. And the winner, the winner is... is... Juliet Stevenson as Ruth in The Doctor. This was a real tight one because oh, there's some God. fantastic yeah. people in there. There really are. Juliet Stevenson, though, but, is one of those actresses that I feel, in even in 50 years' time, when I'm looking back on my best performances of all time, I won't be just thinking about Juliet in this. I will be thinking of Juliet in everything I've ever everything seen. Everything we've seen. Everything I've ever seen her in. She has given she the magic. performance she of a lifetime. In fact, I feel like I've lived a thousand lives in one. That's good. Okay. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. <laughs> that was being really one. profound then, and you were okay. like, good for you. What do you mean a thousand lives in one? Well, she oh, takes, she takes on, on so journeys. many roles. Yeah. She takes well, us Well, there you go. A thousand well done, roles Juliet. in one. Well done. Next up is Best Play Production of 2019. Uh, Lego Simon, talk me through the technicalities of this one. Yeah, this doesn't necessarily have to be a show that's been first produced in the past 12 months. It just has to be one that we saw in 2019. So if we saw in 2019, yeah. it's a production that is eligible. And all of these did Got have it. a new production in that year. 
Okay, so we have got, first up, Jesus Hop the A Train over at the Young Vic in London. Loved it. Uh, obviously, that's why it's on the list. Uh, <laughs> Lungs at the Old Vic, a two-hander, Matt Smith and Claire Foy. Yeah, what a cast. What a cast. At the Starry Messenger by Kenneth Lonergan at the Wyndham's in London. Enough said. Controversial. I know. Defined, right? Decisive. Not, okay. not, you either love it or you hate it. Marmite, right? right? Marmite. And, and also the Doctor at the Almeida Theatre. Arthur Schnitzler and Robert Icke starting out. We love Juliet Stevenson. Um, it's also going out into the West End again, so you're going to have a chance to catch it again. It is indeed. And the winner is... <sighs> oh, I don't need to do the noise. <laughs> I don't need to do the noise. I can't help myself. <laughs> The Doctor, the Almeida Theatre, soon to be at the Duke of York. So if you didn't get a chance to catch it at the Almeida, don't miss your chance to see it in yeah, the West End. We loved it. What an incredible piece. Well, well done. done. Sweating cobs I am. We're sweating, it's hot under these it lights. Is. Um, anyway, the pressure's on because we are on Best Musical Production. So we get to see a wide range of theatre plays and musicals, mm -hmm. but we have seen some fantastic musicals last year. Absolutely. First up on this short list is Come From Away, transferred from as far, and boy, was it good. And I felt so welcome to The Rock. I wanted to become a Newfoundlander. You wanted to become I a rock. I cried from 20 minutes in and didn't stop so uh, accolades here yeah and uh, next up singing in the rain and the most and the impressive thing about that was the fact that they crammed so much into such a tiny space i was so dubious about the um the idea of singing in the rain being performed in this little space mm. but boy was that fantastic it really really was and the first time i'd ever seen it and i'm That's thrilled it was that both. and next up and juliet which we saw in manchester at the opera play opera There's house nothing that music and at the shaftesbury does theater. not have for a jukebox musical it's it's gold standard. It's just good fun and produced to such a high standard. Uh, and finally, The View upstairs, Soho Theatre. Celebrating LGBT history. It's such really an well important piece. Yeah. Like you say, couldn't be more timely than ever. There's been a rise in homophobic attacks in this country and all around the world. And we needed somewhere to say, we're here. In this political turmoil. And the winner is... Welcome to the rock if you come from away. Hey! Come from away! <laughs> yeah. Actually, what I love about this is it's really getting traction. I spoke to people a long time ago and they, I say, you've got to see Come From Away, it's fantastic. And they're like, what? I've never heard of it. This this unknown musical, what is it about? Well, it's about none of, And you go along and they're like, whatever. Yeah, it sounds like a head scratcher. But now but people are going, oh, you've got to see Come From Away, you've got to see Come From Away. Word yeah. is getting around because it's good. It's, it's not just good, it's life changing theatre. It restores your faith in humanity when we're living in such a broken world right now. It makes you realise there is good people out there doing good things. It reassesses and reassigns your focus and I loved it. Come from away. Fellow Leggers, we've come to best actor in a play. Ooh. Talk about a biggie. Do you um, think this, if we had a full audience, this is when they'd all go, ooh. ooh. But you're going to have to do it at home because there ain't no audience. Okay, do it again, do it again, do it again. Uh, we've come to a really big category here, mm. best actor in a play. Ooh. Oh, you guys. I am Mr. You Q, guys. most of you. <laughs> anyway, we've got five nominees in this category. First up is John Carney for Canini and the King. Was at the RSC, soon to be going into the West End. It is, it's coming back. Uh, we have Anthony Cher in Canini and the King. It was a two-hander. They were both two great. Hander. Daniel Monks for Teenage Dick at the Don Mar. Amazing. I loved his performance. And we saw that really late in the year. We did. Late and entry, he snuck but right up there into the shortlist. He did. James McAvoy in Serrano de Bergerac at the Playhouse Theatre. We were honoured to be in his presence. And Andrew Scott for Present Laughter at the Old Vic. Okay. The winner is... Andrew Scott for present laughter at the Old Vic! He was sensational, guys. Oh, wasn't it amazing? Yeah. And it was broadcast as one of those kind of NT Live things, so I know many of you fellow leggers got to see it. Yeah. And it was brilliant. He Absolutely stonking. such life into the role of Gary in a play which is decades old now, yeah. but felt as fresh as it ever possibly could have done. Because of the new adaptation, he brought a load of fresh stuff. I don't think this is the only award he's going to be getting, but this is the most important one. 
Another biggie coming up right now, best actor in a musical. So a leading Ooh. role in a musical. Okay. What are those West End sort of matinee idols? That's what I was saying. I'm and showing you I now. I don't know what matinee. that was. Well, I was when I think matinee idol. idol, I think this. I don't know about you. <laughs> anyway, stop. Bloody hell. Robert Tripolino as Jesus in Jesus Christ Superstar, which we saw at the Barbican Theatre. We did. We were late to that production, we were. that show, but it was brilliant. It was worth the wait. Yes. Ricardo Afonso as Judas in okay. Jesus Christ Superstar, also at the Barbican Theatre. Okay. Sam Tutti as Evan Hansen in Dear Evan Hansen. What a part. Noel Coward London, West End debut. Yeah. Clean Evan Hansen. Epic piece. Well well, done, we're going to be talking a little bit more about this in our upcoming Anybody Have a Map. So mm. keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. And also Philip Bertioli as Don Lockwood in Singing in the Rain at the Mill at Sonning. Okay. He really is a man of idol. He really Ooh. is. Ooh. Okay. And the winner is... Ricardo Afonso for Jesus Christ Superstar, Judas. Yes, he was Judas. He was a brilliant Judas. We saw him at West End Live, first and foremost. I've got to say, I've, I've seen many productions, I think, of Jesus Christ Superstar, and this is the best ever um, vocal of Judas that I have ever ever heard. Wow. It was amazing. I can attest for that because you've played that role and he was yeah. definitely better than you. <laughs> yes, for you, bitch. <laughs> uh, but he's absolutely fantastic. Like, he... I don't know what he's going to do next. I don't know where he came from because I don't know him as being a musical theatre star. But it was perfect and totally well worth the, the award recognition. Oh, this is a biggie. This next one is... Big. A lot of these have been difficult to make decisions on, but I'd it's say so hard. I'd say this Many one, discussion. this one more than others, in fact, yes. as its best actress in a musical. The nominees are Anne Marie Duff in Sweet Charity at the Don Mar Warehouse. We've seen her many a time, but she's yeah. shone in this, and she gave such a different interpretation of interpretation. charity. Interpretation. It is. We've seen it before, and we saw it as if it was a fresh. Absolutely. Miriam Teak Lee as Juliet in And Juliet at the Manchester Opera House and Shaftesbury Theatre. The girl can sing. Her first is it sang? <laughs> sing. How do they do it? She can sing. You ain't cool enough. <laughs> no, for that. I don't You're know. Really not. What is it? What does she, she Her do? first leading lady role after stepping out of Hamilton as a as a, one of the supporting actors what a role. honestly making waves right now we've also got a bit of a stalwart of the West End Cassidy Jansen in the role of Anne Hathaway in And Juliet brilliant part and brilliantly performed Adriana Ivelisse as Maria West Side Story at the Curve Leicester I loved her performance I've seen I now see that role afresh I've seen how it needs to be so she set the bar very hard for Maria Set it hard. <laughs> set it, she set it doing hard. hard. She was. She, she set it. She does she, such she's hard put work. It, she's put that jello in the fridge and it has set hard, guys. <laughs> she set it hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard and hard. Have another drink. <laughs> Rebecca Jane Davis as Kathy Selden in Singing in the Rain at the Mill at Sony. Okay. I, again, she was a fantastic leading lady. I mean, taking on space. an iconic role like that, Debbie Reynolds played is big, big. Big, big shoes to fill. I'm looking forward to seeing her again. Yeah, I and bet you're looking forward is... to find out who's won, right? <laughs> you are, aren't you? Are you? I hope <laughs> That's so. what we're waiting for. And the winner is Miriam T. Glee for Anne Juliet. Yeah, a star is born. Yes, she was fantastic in Hamilton, but my God, she carries that entire show yeah. as the West End leading lady in the title role of Anne Juliet. She's going to go from big performance to big performance to big performance. Yeah, like, ain't no looking it. back now. She'll be recognised as well. Mark our words. Do -do 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 What's this? Do -do 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 special silver, silver envelope. Silver envelope because we've got a special recognition award. Now this is somebody who perhaps is a little bit of an unsung hero, doesn't really neatly sit into any other category, Gray, no. but certainly deserves and is so deserving of a shout out of some love and an award from the Breaker Leggers. And if we'd done more research we'd be able to tell you about their life yeah. and all sorts. And but they're going to come up and do that themselves. So we don't need to. She's not coming up. And that is, who is this award Special for? Special recognition Breaker Leggers 2019 goes to... Penny Dyer, 
Penny dialect Dyer. coach. Now, voice coach. if you don't know Penny Dyer, look up her credit. She's worked yes. on Hollywood films. She's worked on so much theatre in been the West for End so long. and beyond. And if you hear an accent being portrayed by a non-native speaker in the West End, and it's good. It's Chances probably are, Penny. What it's uh, every Penny's single work. big theatre, often yep. at the National Theatre. She is a sensation. Like the amount of time it must take that she sits down with these actors and gets yeah, convincing performance out of. I don't know about you, but I can barely speak as myself. <laughs> like absolutely fantastic. An unsung hero of mm. 2019. We recognise you. Yeah. I wonder who's going to be the unsung hero of 2020. Maybe you can make some suggestions. Okay, someone to look out for. Let us know down below. There you go, fellow leggers. That is our first award ceremony. I often say, do you know what? If you want to do something, just get out and do it. Don't wait for somebody else to come and do it for you. Yeah. That's where we got started with the awards. Yeah. Let's well, it's just what do we got our started own. with the Legos, really. That's where we got started with anything. You have an idea. Yeah. Everything started with an idea. The Eiffel Tower, big structures, anything came from an idea. You get an idea, fellow Lego, you make it happen. You want to make a YouTube channel, yeah. you go do it. Where you want to write a book, yeah. you want to get to the gym, right. you want to go and speak to that person you've been thinking about across the office and you want to invite them on a date, you go do it because you can do it. Because where are you going with it. this? I'm anyway, just saying, go do it. We saw some fantastic theatre in 2019, we and they were just some of our favourites. We know that you've got your own so favourites, so theater. please let us know down below. We can't see everything. We're only two people, and yes. there were probably some things that we missed out there last year. But we're going to try and catch them this year Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. And if you want us to come and see our, your shows, yeah. invite us along. Let yeah. Us well, know I mean, what's we can only on. say no, right? We'll only say no. <laughs> but hey, you big venues out there. Uh, All you big venues. No, it's not just about that. Uh, it's about new theatre as well. It's, it's about, about experience. New musical Absolutely. experience. Like I say, we've been everywhere yeah. and we will go everywhere to get good theatre. Pouring it out, we are. <laughs> <laughs> the theatre, is it okay to say we're theatre. Hussies. Hussies, I like that. I like Theater the word hussies. We are it's fellow only, leggies. It's only... Fellow leggies. <laughs> fellow leggies. It's because we've got a legget. Yeah, we've got a legget. But um, guys, please also follow us over on Instagram. We announced these award nominations on yep. Instagram. We do some behind the scenes stuff. We do some Insta Live sometimes as well. When we went to see, the, went to the Turbine Theatre, we did an Insta Live. We didn't we did. do a full review. So you don't want to miss any Legos content, head over to Instagram because that's where it's at. Um, now in our upcoming uh, Anybody Have a Map, we're also going to be talking about the year 2020. Some of our top picks of stuff yeah, to things that we are looking forward to. And we also might dish some dirt on some of the things that we didn't like in 2019 because we get asked for best and worst. These are clearly our best, but yeah, anybody have a map? I'm thinking the gloves are off. So we shall see you then with the break of Legos and we'll catch you again soon. Bye! Bye.